we had a patient, uh, a young patient, that uh, with a with a gray zonal lymphoma, and he had a, a treatment uh, with the classical uh, uh, treatment for the non-Hodg lymphoma, and uh, uh, they they have a re partial remission and went to the autologous transplant. But one month after autologous transplant, the same patient uh, shows a lesion in, 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 in liver, uh, more than two lesions in liver. Then uh, we decided uh, to, to try to use pembrolizumab in this patient. And for our surprising, uh, about 30, 30, 30, 30 days, one month after the use of pembrolizumab, just one cycle, uh, the lesions in the, the liver, there wasn't any more, and the patients uh, did two years of pembrolizumab, and now he is in complete remission about two, uh, after two years, they, and we stopped this, and very interesting because we, uh, we, we have a segment that with this patient with, with, with a CT scan, a PET scan. And, and after uh, uh, we stopped the drug about, uh, about approximately six, six months, uh, we saw the same lesion in liver. And then now we initiated uh, pembrolizumab again, and the patient uh, repeat another CT scan, PET CT, and he is now in remission again. And then it's a, a, a we think that a, a, a great discussion because uh, gray zonal lymphoma is a very hard disease and we don't have an, a, 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 a great options of treatment. And then it, it, we think that checking uh, uh, inhibitors are, are a possibility of treatment of this patient.